Good afternoon, traders. It is Friday, February 28th, 2020, and the U.S. stock market is closed. Hey, it was another harrowing day today. Um, I mean, we did really well. Uh, you might hear me complaining a little about some things that happened today. Uh, but I really shouldn't have. Uh, I look up at our, our at our closed out trades to our open trade, and we got over ninety thousand dollars today. Uh, surely shouldn't complain about that. Uh, this morning, right after the open, we had uh, over a hundred and twenty thousand, if you can believe that. Uh, but there were. A few things that happened, and I'll discuss those when I show you the individual stocks that um, d did kind of cut our profits, particularly toward the end. I'm going to zoom in here, see if I can. You can see this last bar on the Dow. Now maybe that just looks like another uh, line on a, a on a chart. But the Dow actually gained 500 to 600 points on the last 10 minutes of the day. And that did cut into our profits. Um, I think we dropped from like almost 70,000 to positive uh, 47,000 in the last 10 minutes. I mean, this is one volatile market, believe me. So, um, officially the Dow closed down 357 points, but earlier on in the day, it was down over a thousand. So, the Dow really got hammered again. Uh, pretty hard, but that last minute, that last 15 minute, minute bar uh, does concern me a little. And by the way, uh, after gaining five to six hundred points in the last 10 minutes, uh, last time I checked, it was up another 300 in the aftermarket. Now, what does that mean? Honestly, I don't think it means what I think it means is there's a lot of day traders there were taken their profits uh, at the last minute and uh, I don't think that I, I don't think any good news is going to come out about the coronavirus over the weekend and uh, I think this rally that we saw last 10 minutes and into the uh, aftermarket probably will evaporate on Monday, but I would be very careful about predicting this market. It is extremely, extremely volatile uh, at this time. I'll just show you the long view on the Dow here. Um, this is... I had to... Sh tighten this up a little to show you way back uh, something happened here I thought I had this set up right now it doesn't let's see okay I yeah I can go back here a little more hang on Forgive my lack of preparation here. Okay, I, I'm I'm back here to the August lows. Now we're yesterday. I was telling you about the end of September lows. They're lower lows in August, back here, and then if we go forward here, so you can see where you can see here today. I mean, this is just. With, it's taken out those lows 
I, it it's, looks like it's taken out everything. I mean, it's just an incredible drop uh, that we've seen in the last week. Unbelievable. We're into the 24,000s now. All the way from being from 29.5 plus something all the way down to 24.5 or something like that. So this has been pretty unbelievable. Um, okay, the statistics officially the Dow was down 357 points today. We closed out 43,000 plus in, in profits. On our closeout, we got into five new positions. All five are, well, no. All those are hold, well, no. One's new and four are holdovers. But of those five positions, all five are positive. And we're carrying positive 47,000 over the weekend going into Monday. Monday. So add those two up, we have just over $90,000 in profits. Okay, I'll show you some of the trades. So I'm still shaking. I'm, I'm hesitant because this is just an unbelievable day. Okay, this was, <laughs> if, when I say I sound like I'm going to complain some here today, this was a little bit of a disappointment. This is TNXP. That's um, Tonex Pharmaceuticals. This is the outfit that's working on a coronavirus vaccine. Uh, we had bought this on uh, Wednesday, and it went up to a little over 20,000 here, then backed off. And we, I think we had maybe 4,000, 5,000 on the close. It jumped up yesterday to over 70,000. Over 70,000 right up here. And then it came back. But it pushed up pretty nicely there on the close. And we are up into the mid 60,000 for our uh, profits on the close yesterday and then it just kind of dumped somewhat on us this morning and we were actually stopped out here and so we got out of Tonex Pharmaceuticals with $27,000 in profit so am I complaining about 27000 in profit? Well, I kind of am when it was up to 70000 a year. But that's what happened. We're out of it. It went lower uh, the rest of the day, so I, it wasn't something I wanted to hang on to and wouldn't have anyway. The algorithm said, get out here, and we got out with 27000 in profit. Okay, obviously we are, now I gotta do this um, little thing here to show you the next one. We're, we are, uh, of course, in a collapsing market. We're gonna make a ton of money on our sh market short positions, which are TVIX and UVXY. And I'm showing you TVIX here, which we we bought on the gap yesterday. We bought the gap. Uh, oh, I can't remember exactly what we had on the close there. But huge gap up this morning. And um, we're up over $30,000 up here. Then it pulled back and then it came around. And toward the end there, before that 10 minute rally in the Dow, we had 
32 $33,000 in TVIX. And then the spike down corresponds to the rally in the Dow. And we saw our $32,000, $33,000 go to uh, 18000 So, you know, we're, we're, we're saying $14,000 here in profit, at least open trade profit, evaporate in the last 10 minutes a day. <laughs> That's a little rough. But we're still got $18,000 in TVIX, and we got about 9000 in UVXY. Well, we don't want any follow-through on this. And as I say, I think there's a good chance this is going to pop back up on uh, Monday. It could it could gap up again. We don't, you know, this is just crazy, wild, volatile markets. But that's what happened. And in spite of this happening, as I say, we still have... Ninety thousand dollars plus total, uh, and l let me just show you some, a new stock here, and this one uh, we got into today, and this is VSTM, which is Veristem Incorporated. That's a biotech. I don't think it has anything to do with. Uh, the coronavirus, uh, their, its oncology is the specialty. I don't know what exactly uh, precipitated all this movement today, but it gapped up. We, we, we don't buy the opening range. We waited. We got in here, which was a nice little pullback, but at first it looked horrible, and then it turned around and kept climbing, climbing, climbing all day, and by the time it closed here pretty high we had uh, eleven thousand dollars in open trade equity in Veristem Incorporated so that looks like a real good trade and it has nothing to do with the uh, coronavirus okay so should I be complaining about ninety thousand dollars <laughs> that's pretty bad folks but we'll just have to wait and see. I, 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 man, this is one volatile market. Anyway, you guys have a, a great weekend. If you're a customer, I'm going to be getting out the new portfolio over the weekend. Not making a lot of changes. This has been a fantastic portfolio. We're not going to change much. Um, and, of course, uh, if you want the new... Uh, workplaces and all that just uh, email me when you get my uh, notice and I'll email those to you you don't have to do any chart setups they just sit on this thing and make a ton of money I get a lot of letters from customers you guys have a great weekend I'll be back here on Monday you bet